Alright, hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. Sorry about the uh, background noise, I do have the washer and dryer on right now. So hopefully the uh, Diablo 2 soundtrack will cover that. So today I want to go ahead and kind of explain to you guys the reason why um, I always start off with mana jewels on my Righteous Fire character. Now, the original purpose of, I guess, doing this was because these jewels were at one point in time worth one chaos, and now they're worth, I guess, anywhere from like maybe, I don't know, four to twelve chaos. So it kind of, kind of scraps out the whole idea of running it on a budget. But you know, there's nothing I can really do about that. But yeah, I want to show you guys and explain to you guys the reason why I pick up like um, inspiration and whatnot when I'm leveling the characters, and you could even keep it later on with the build. So this entire whole like mana segment. It's all based around this one ascendancy note on the guardian tree, and it's called Radiant Faith. Radiant Faith states, you grant maximum energy shield, which is basically like a discipline aura, equal to 15% of your reserved mana to you and nearby allies. And this will stack with your discipline, uh, and this will not stack with other guardians running it, it'll just work like any other aura, whoever has the highest one. Uh, will take the priority. Now if you want to see 100% exactly how this thing scales, you're going to have to go look it up because I've never really played a pure mana guardian, so I don't know if it scales better off of percent mana or percent aura effectiveness or I, I don't know any of that shit. You're going to have to go look that up specifically. But we're not we're not doing that with this character. This character is kind of a little different because we essentially need aura effect to scale our purity, so it's just inherently there, right? So with all of my auras on, and this is my character that died to Shaper in Standard League, so it's the level 96 one, which is my endgame low life righteous fire. I think he sits at what? 15k ES? That's not right. Why am I 15k Kappa? Did I replace Oh, that's because I don't have my shield on, just kidding. Alright, so this guy sits at 18.3k ES uh, with Righteous Fire on and all my you know standard stuff that I've explained in the videos. Now, if I were to go ahead and drop ES nodes, so I'm 18.3k right now. Let's drop four ES nodes. That puts me at 17.6. So 18.3k to 17.6. Okay, so I lost about, what, 400 ES respecting four energy shield nodes and going into four mono nodes. Now, this doesn't do anything for me except give me bonus energy shield, right? That's essentially all it does. Now, what I could do is I could run a higher level clarity, which will actually make me reserve more mana, which will end up maybe giving me like an extra 50, um, but it won't fully make that up. So anyway, some other things that we can do is I was talking about using healthy minds. The reason why you can use healthy minds is because when you're looking for jewels with like damage max ES, um, you know, a secondary or a third damage mod, a resistance, they can get pricey. They can go anywhere from probably like 10 chaos upwards of 50, 100 chaos. Whereas a healthy mind is a simple solution for 1C. So check my ES right now. 18.2 goes to 18.3. Now, I don't actually gain damage by doing this because um, I'm losing life and gaining ES, which is like the same damage ratio, but I'm also losing the uh, properties associated on this jewel, right? So I'd be losing the 8% increased damage and the resistance. But this is just to show an example of how it works, right? Um, now over here is another spot you could use an energy from, or sorry, a, a healthy mind, which would hit the whole melding cluster. So this will probably put me to like 18.5, um, almost 18.5. And again here, this is an 8% ES jewel with area damage and fire and cold res. Another place you could put a healthy mind would be right here. Uh, this is not as beneficial as a spot, but you can see it still gives me like almost 100 energy shield and my cat is actually biting my headset cord. That's not really good. Okay, so this is another spot and the reason why you can do it here is you would get combat stamina for, or not sorry, you would get, didn't this give life? Oh, it does, it does, sorry, it's already converted. Uh, combat stamina now gives 10% mana instead of 5% life and the mana and life now turns into just pure mana. Um, so this is another okay spot. If you have quick recovery, which I don't really recommend for the build anymore, you can also put a healthy mind right here. And this is this is pretty much it for my build. There's a bunch of other things you can do, but I can't really talk about that because if you start changing the skill tree, the build isn't really the same anymore. If you want to do something with Grand Spectrum, again, it's completely different because you're now stacking God knows how many jewels instead. And I'm sure that it would work out just fine. Um, but this is kind of the variant, like I said, I used. Now, so essentially what we did is we removed the cost of the expensive jewels, 
spec'd into inspiration, which brings me to my next point of shaper. Now, for shaper, ideally what I wanted to do was use a dream fragments the next go around because it basically says cannot be frozen and with the new dream fragments, it's you cannot be chilled either. So it's cannot be frozen and cannot be chilled. And I thought to myself, maybe it's better if I just spec four points into the inspiration cluster instead of the energy shield nodes because that way I can scale the 20% maximum mana. Now, I don't know 100% if that's really gonna work um, and it's kind of, I can't really test it specifically because if I remove this, I'm actually gonna lose ES because of the way this works, like a lot of ES. But this will probably give me like 200, not even, like 150. Um, so I mean, it's something. I don't really think it's gonna be worth it, but that was just a hypothetical scenario that I was thinking of uh, because being able to essentially be immune to freeze and chill on the Shaper fight, I think eliminates primarily at least, at least what would kill me. Um, which was getting crit and frozen because sometimes it's really difficult to figure out, you know, what's going to happen in a boss fight. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much what I wanted to show you guys. Just a quick little recap um, and understanding of why I decided to use By Healthy Minds. Um, and of course, at the start of a league, these are literally like one chaos, so they're worth absolutely nothing. Whereas their, um, their other one, Energy From Within, is like 150 to 200 chaos. Um, which is why I highly recommend the Healthy Mind variant. But of course, if you have the currency, you don't need to do this at all. Just simply use actual damage property jewels and you'll be good to go instead. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And remember, you can catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv slash pox. Hope you guys have a wonderful time and I'll see you guys all tomorrow. Take care, everybody.